Okay, for this first part of the question then, we're given that the length of the telephone call made to a company is denoted by the continuous random variable t, and it's modelled by this probability density function here. And we've got to show that the constant k here is 1 50th. So there's several ways that we could do this, and the way that springs to mind, first of all, um, is that we've got such an easy function here. It's a linear function. So I could easily find out k just by sketching, for instance, the probability density function. And this probability density function, let's just draw the axes in here, t and f of t. We know that it goes between 0 and 10, and it's linear. We know that when t is naught, we get 0, and when t is 10, we get 10k. So we've got a graph looking something like this, okay? And this value directly below here is going to be 10. We've got the origin here, and when you plug 10 into kt, you get 10k. So this value up here is 10k. So let's just draw a dotted line back down to that 10 there. Now what I know is that the area under this graph, that is the area in this triangle here, is going to come to 1. And so because it's a nice geometrical shape, a triangle, then I should be able to work that out, what k is. Because we know, as I say, that the area equals 1, and so the area of a triangle is just going to be the base 10 times the height, so that would be 10 times 10k divided by 2, base times height divided by 2 equals 1. And you can see that we've got 100k divided by 2, or 50k equals 1. So we've got therefore 50k equals 1, and it follows from that that k must be equal to 1 50th. So that's the way, as I say, that I would go about solving this. Only purely because I've got a nice geometrical shape. Normally, what we would do, if it were a curve, certainly, is to pick up on this idea that we should be familiar with. And that is that if you integrate, which will give the area under the graph, if you integrate your probability density function, in this case f of t with respect to t, going between your lower bound, which we call minus infinity, to your upper bound, infinity. Not in the true sense, okay? This is just the lower bound to the upper bound. In this case, from 0 to 10. That area should equal 1. And so for this question, if we were to integrate from the lower bound 0 to the upper bound 10, of our function f of t, which is kt, so put that in, kt, integrate that with respect to t, you would get 1. And if we integrate this, we therefore have k times t squared over 2. You could put the 2 here, and then you've got your limits going between 0 and 10, and this will equal 1. And if we substitute now, for 10, okay, in for the t, we've got k over 2 multiplied by 10 squared, and then we substitute the 0 in, so we've got minus 0 squared, and that equals 1. Well, clearly you've got 100 here, and half of 100 is 50, so you've got 50k equals 1, and again, if you divide both sides by 50, you get k equals 1 50th. So, that's the integration uh, way of doing it, but certainly I'd go for this method really, uh, for this particular question. I'd only use this method if I've got a curve, something that's got like say t squared or function of t cubed or whatever, okay, but not linear. Alright, well there we go, that's how I would certainly go about the first part of this question.